Hello. Yes, uh, today a uh, little bit uh, improvised situation because we have drum recordings in the room. Friend of mine, Reinhard Stranzinger, uh, has his setup here for his new CD, upcoming CD. So we don't use a cabinet, but for this reason I have my trusty server reactive load ER, which is also really not bad. Uh, and uh, and his old uh, JMP M MK250 uh, watt from the 70s, which is a great amp. Uh, but I tried it today on the clean channel, clean, on the low sensitive and sensi sen sensitivities, it's called, uh, which I think. Uh, not many people do. They all use, because it's great, uh, high sensitivity, which, we, which, which has a, a, a really great crunch in it, as we all know. Uh, but also the clean channel is really good. And uh, in case of there's some troubles with the amp, which happens often, no sound, because the first tube is broken, Jump into the low channel, everything is fine. Uh, sounds really good, clean. <laughs> It crunch also. Uh, uh, then it's a, but then it's not the, the, the sound of the belt. <laughs> Sorry for it. Uh, let's try it with a tube saw. <laughs> Yes, and I didn't mention the solo tires is running. Let's turn it off. Hear what, what's happening. I have to crank it up a little bit. <laughs> Also cool. Uh, the pre gain is not very much open. Seven, let's do ten. Okay, then it gets a little bit compressed and darker. Let's leave it on seven. <laughs> boost. Also a cool boost, would say germanium, uh, has only gain, treble bass, but this was, with this kind of uh, knobs you can do everything, especially for, as the name says, for boosting. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's a little bit warm to the sound. That's uh, sometimes uh, my way of getting warm sounds out of a strut, which normally could be a little bit bitey. That's we love because we love it. But if you want to, uh, and I don't have a, a tone on my bridge pickup, so not easy for warm sounds on a strut. But with this kind of mid oriented pre boost, no problem. Which the Keon sure is. So I have the built-in uh, what was the number 12, which is, I think, uh, the Sir 4x12 uh, mic'd up with a <coughs> sorry, 57 and a Royer 121, which is always cool. I also have my own ERs, but I didn't put it into the... I didn't use it for a long time, this uh, because normally I record with uh, many many possibilities of speaker combinations in the room, which I prefer, to be honest. Yeah, that's the thing I wanted to, uh, to show you, because uh, normally people don't talk much about the quality of a pedal platform of an old... Uh, Marshall, <laughs> on a preamp Marshall, which every time I use, I, w I wouldn't be sure if I w what I would use. Depends. If if you play in a ACTC cover band, yeah. Tom, Tom woke up. <laughs> if you would play in an ACTC or rock and roll band, you don't need a pedal platform. That's the, that's the, uh, the way it should sound. On the high channel, perfect, 50 watt, 100 watt, uh, they're all cool. Uh, but if you want a, bit, a little bit more flexibility, then you, you would use your, let's say, room effects or delays uh, pedal board, then you are fine with the low channel. And really cool, really good sounding. Uh, I normally use, uh, most of the time, my own marshals, which are most of the time, uh, which I would say, uh, you know, most of them are 100 watts, which had a little bit more headroom, but with the 50 watt, you could uh, reach another quality uh, edge of breakup kind of sounds. Great, great stuff. Next time, uh, when the room will be available, we listen to the marshal again with. 4x12 cabinets and see what we can out, get out of it. Okay, so again, thanks for subscribing. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.